Okay, so I got got the fat wire here. And we'll get in here tight on the, the cool runner again. The fat wire goes to point C. I'm sorry, the yellow wire. I'm having a bit of difficulty here because of the... Uh, the larger-than-life ground wire. Probably should have installed that last. But it's no biggie. Alright. Now there's yellow wire. We're going to fish right down through this hole. And we'll bring it out the back side of the motherboard. And just pull it tight for now. And we're going we're gonna to just leave that for the time being. And I'm going to move on to the, the next the next wire in the install. Actually, I'm going to be skipping the next wire too for the time being. Uh, that that's the the low loss. I figure I might as well try the low loss on the Corona, being my first uh, first install on here. So I'm going to move straight to uh, our green wire, and I'll put the low loss on in just a moment. So we're going to point E. You don't necessarily have to do these wires in any specific order. Just so long as you get them all on there at some point in time. On the other end of this green wire here, I'm just coming right up here to uh, point E on the QSB. Putting just a little bit of flux on there. Get the wire in place. And there you have it. And again, be sure to clean up after yourself. And as you can see by my water wires here, there's uh, there's definitely room to trim some of these down before installing cutting to length so they fit nice and neat. Alright people, the last wire on uh, on this top side here, other than the low loss, is going to be our brown wire. Uh, and this is where it would have been nice to, to pre-trim some of these wires. You're going to bear with me a little bit. This is my first Corona install. Uh, I've not had the opportunity to do one of these before. I've, I've had this Corona motherboard sitting on my shelf. Uh, this is actually the MW3 console. Bought it brand new and uh, just left it sitting on my shelf until, until this uh, good old hat came out. So, All right, we're on, uh, on the F pad brown wire so we're gonna put a little flux on the cooler on our air on the F pad grab our brown wire and we're gonna just heat the solder point and insert the wire just like so Clean up a little bit there. 
Now we're going to attach the other side up here to point F on the Corona pad. Now like I said before, there's two pads that I have pre pretend that uh, weren't needed to be tinned. So I'll just heat pad F and insert the wire. Be very careful when doing this one because these others these other pads right here are awful close to point F and if you uh, stick your wire through too far you could end up jumping the, the circuit across there so just be mindful of that don't want to bridge all these other pads while we're in here that could be trouble alright up next is going to be the uh, the low loss cable so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and get that prepped uh, I'm going to try it grounded so uh, not all councils seem to respond very well with the low loss being grounded uh, but I'm going to try it with this Corona first and foremost and see how it goes so give me just a second here uh, well to you it'll be instant but for me it'll be moments alright so I got this end of the uh, the, the low loss all prepped up here uh, I just need to figure out how I'm going to fish it through all the rest of this stuff and still get it to the underside of the board. I'm throwing a little bit of flex space on there preemptively. <coughs> and I'm gonna weasel this low loss in underneath my hot wire. And it looks like I'm gonna need to bring it in under the ground wire as well. There we have it. Just like so. Now let's get this here float onto this chip. Alright. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. Now we're going to do the same thing with the ground on this as what we did with the uh, the last one. The ground for the low loss. Normally when you do a ground wire, you want the ground wire to be as short as possible. Oh, that kid. What take away his Xbox. Anyway. But we're going to run this right up here to the audio video terminal just like we did the uh, the cool runners ground you don't want to share the same ground as the cool runner I mean don't ground it off the chip the, the cool runner chip run it to a nice solid ground so we're elevating the board again here so that you can see this and let me tilt my camera down now Again, we're going to put a little bit of flex paste on here. Make sure you got a nice clean tip. Where'd that solder go? Uh, need everything to kind of stay, stay still here. And we're going to heat the housing of the audio video terminal. And apply some solder. Once the housing gets hot enough, the solder will stick. Now I'm going to put a little extra solder on the tip of my iron here. And grab my tweezers. Come on. And get the wire. Man, oh, come on, you pig. Get the wire in place. Well, that's not the prettiest, but it'll be functional.
And we'll clean up after ourselves. There we go, the low loss is grounded. Now the other end of the low loss is going to fish right down this big giant hole. Taking it right down the hole right here with the DVD drive, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to call it a foot pokes through through the motherboard and now we're on the underside of the board now here we're going to want to bend our low last over so that it's where we want it to be and now we're actually going to have to remove our X clamps so I'm going to pause the video again and I'm going to prep the other side of my low loss and then when I come back I'll show you how to remove your X clamps using well, I don't have the X-clamp removal kit or tool, so I'm going to be using a screwdriver. So things, uh, you just be careful. One moment. <laughs> 